how to keep the motivation going. Right now, I've had a few great days sticking to a calorie goal and meal plan. The weekend is coming up. There are so many times in my past where I've done great all week and even made a plan for a good weekend, but I can't stick to it. Then I either cycle through good weeks, bad weeks, or just give up altogether. How can I keep the momentum of my healthy week into the weekend? All right, so here's the deal with weekends. Weekends, and I hope everyone got a chance to hear the Transform Your Travel webinar. I think it went out two Mondays ago. But I talked about how your your travel is like its own ecosystem and how your week is its own ecosystem and your weekend is its own ecosystem. And what I mean by that is it's kind of got a, a life of its own. And what I often see is this exact question here, which is, why can't I make myself force the same behaviors that I do Monday through Friday into the weekend? And quite honestly, having coached now hundreds of people, the weekends are always a problem. I have yet to meet somebody who's like, hey, weekends are a breeze because we treat our weekends differently. It's just a cultural thing. We're off on the weekends. Most people have two days consecutively off. They feel that's their time to veg out, relax, uh, not have any structure, kind of eat more impulsively. This is something that's just very much been bred into us in the United States. I can't, I don't know if it's that way for everywhere in the world, but this is what I see time and time again. So what I work with my clients on is first getting Monday through Friday nailed down. Do we pack our lunch? Are we tracking consistently? Are we getting this stuff going? And for most of you, you know, and know why weekdays are easier because you have forced structure. You have somebody sitting there saying, be at work at nine o'clock go home at five. Here's your lunch window. Everything is super structured. And when you have that kind of structure, it's easier to adhere to a meal plan. It's easier to adhere to your goals because you're living within a very structured environment. Weekends, we have no boss to tell us what to do. So we kind of have to become our own boss. So what I would encourage this person to do is to stop thinking that their weekends should look like the weekdays. That's number one. They are not. Look at them for what they really are. Ask yourself, what does my weekends normally consist of? Do I sleep in? Do I eat breakfast out? Or do I skip breakfast and go get lunch out? Do I have dinner out later in the evening, maybe for a date? Do I drink more? Do I, you know, do I have more social engagements? Look at them for what they are, not what you think they should be. Then once you've nailed down the reality of your weekends, start to tweak them week in and week out. I had one client for eight months. We worked on weekends, eight months. It was a combination of weekends and alcohol. And so we had two different issues going on, both within the same 48 hour cycle. And she's finally gotten it, you know, really down pretty good. Now she's seen consistent weight loss, but it took a while weekends, depending on what your life has been like up to this point can take a while. It doesn't, it's not going to repair itself overnight. Keep in mind, it's only two days every week. So your, your time of a uh, focus on it is brief and you have to then wait another five days to get another turn at it. So every time a weekend rolls around, what you're looking at is making one small improvement. So what I would do is first off mentally separate weekends from weekdays. Say, I'm going to focus on weekends. Honestly, I'm going to write down everything I normally would do in a weekend, including how much I eat out, uh, how much I move, how much alcohol and treats I have. I would start to get honest, go back through your food logs. If you've been diligent about that, really pay attention to your history, learn from it. Then I would do one weekend where I just switched one meal. So if I'm eating out lunch and dinner, lunch and dinner, really looking just to take one lunch out of the equation. Could I pack my lunch that day and take it with me? Could I eat lunch at home that day and skip eating out? Really systematically one weekend after the next weekend, slowly changing what the weekends look like. So that way you don't feel like they are bad weekends because you're showing improvement on the weekends. And the other thing is, is it's not going to impact your motivation because you're going to see these as two separate entities. Monday through Friday is its own thing. Saturday and Sunday is its own thing. Vacation is its own thing. None of these things are connected to each other. In our minds, they are because we think, well, I'm, I'm just 
still me living my life. Yeah. But if you think about it, when have your weekends ever looked like your weekdays, right? Like, I mean, even when you were in kid in school, you had a regimented Monday through Friday school week weekends. You probably slept in, you watched your cartoons. You probably maybe stayed in your pajamas all day, right? Like you had these different ways of living your life weekdays versus weekends. So now as an adult, we have to start to, to change that. We have to make the weekends look a little bit more like the weekdays if we want to see forward progress with our weight. And that's all going to start by slowly changing those behaviors and habits. 